Well, the Hyatt plans to bring a nine-story, $18 million hotel right to Waco next year. But first, the company is now asking the city to help foot the bill. Fox 44's Michelle Trotter live in the control room with that asking price. Robert, Hyatt wanted Waco to pay almost $3 million, but the city's tax increment board, also known as TIF, said that was way too much. This is what the new Hyatt Place Hotel will look like coming this summer on the corner of Mary Avenue and 3rd Street. Nine stories high, 110 suites, large conference rooms, outdoor roof deck and pool, and also a rooftop full service bar. It will have beautiful views of the entire city, all the way from starting from the stadium, Riverwalk, uh, the convention center, and Festival Street, um, the silos. It will have a 360 degree view. There will be multiple features on the lobby floor. This is the Mary Street. The pink section is our festival section. Um, the gray is the hotel lobby and cafe dining. Um, it will be all open right here with the garage doors. There will be also a parking garage with 220 spaces. The developers requested more than $2.7 million to help with the hotel, but only $1.9 million got approved, leaving out 66 spaces of public parking, landscape, and equipment. Based on what staff and I think City Center also thought, we probably are covered for the time being, and nobody knows for sure. Uh, you know, if bigger demand is down there than we expect, you know, we may have to have other parking in the future. But we did not fund that extra floor at this time. At night, the hotel will light up with LED lights that will glow all across the city. TIF Board Chairman Wes Filer likes the idea. Uh, really uh, trying to encourage as much hotel development down here for convention center purposes and other things. The developers say they have been working on this project for years and can't wait for construction to start in July. And the reason why they chose Mary Avenue and 3rd Street is because it's in the middle of downtown, close to everything. Live in the control room, Michelle Trotter, Fox 44 News. 